Hey there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about whether or not it is safe to upgrade either your old Mac computer to something like Big Sur or Monterey, or just buy one of the new M1 Macs. And uh, are you going to be able to use your music production software, all the plugins, all that stuff? And so I have a couple steps that you should probably do before you make these upgrades. And so we're going to jump into it on my screen. Okay, guys. So a couple months ago, I was lucky enough to buy one of these Mac Studios. It's just the baseline model. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Now, I went through quite a journey with doing this whole uh, getting a new Mac computer, especially with the new M1 stuff, uh, the Apple Silicon, it just kind of screwed up everything for a while. Uh, at one point, I bought a Mac Mini and had it for about uh, 24 hours and just really didn't feel comfortable on it, and I returned it. So the first step when I bought this Mac Studio, I knew that I needed to upgrade Pro Tools. There was a lot of YouTube videos out there about Pro Tools being compatible. So for me, that's my main uh, digital audio workstation. I had to go to Sweetwater, and we're seeing right here, this is the $200 upgrade. Now, there's a catch to this, and I'm probably going to make a video specifically just on upgrading Pro Tools now because... I owned a Pro Tools license and I bought that back when they had an inbox. I bought that about 10 or 12 years ago. It came with a license and every time I needed to update, it was about $300 or something like that. But I still own the license and I could use that license as long as I want. Now, buying this $199 update, but what it does is it forfeits, like I don't own the software anymore. And every two years, I'm going to have to upgrade. I'm going to have to pay, hopefully, just the $200 fee. Pro Tools has a lot of ways that you, you, there's a yearly subscription, there's a monthly subscription, there's all kinds of subscription models. I have a video on that I can link down below in the description. So anyways, I had to pay $200 out of the gate just to update Pro Tools, but it works. And I got to say with this Mac Studio computer, I love it. It's amazing. Uh, it's made making videos like this so much easier. When I'm running Pro Tools, I'm running on like a 128 buffer size and I'm playing back full mixes with no problem. So it's really been an amazing experience. And then making videos like this for you guys has just been a breeze. I'm excited about that because this computer is <laughs> my old MacBook Pro from uh, 2014, which can only be updated to Big Sur. That was such a pain, and for a long time I couldn't make videos, I couldn't do any kind of screen recording in Pro Tools without it being a huge hassle. So the first step I'm going to go through for you, let's say you have an old Mac just like the one I showed you, or you're getting one of the new ones, you want to double check here at Sweetwater. They have a compatibility list for Monterey. I'll link it in the description, and it has pretty much every plug-in manufacturer, and it's going to tell you whether or not it's supported or not or what the status of it is. Honestly, this would have saved me a lot of heartache when I started trying to go to the M1 Max. Uh, there was plugins that I had to have when I bought that first Mac Mini. Part of the reason I returned it is because nothing was supported on it. Now a lot more is supported. I'm gonna say it's a lot safer, but you still gotta check this list. For my MacBook Pro from 2014, I could only upgrade it to Big Sur. That's another thing. There's a link for Mac that will tell you how far you can upgrade your Mac. I will say that this old laptop I have, it it's a little bit glitchy on Big Sur. You kind of got to weigh the pros and cons, and you also need to check out and see what plugins can't you live without. You need to make a list. The problems you're going to have with the M1 stuff or upgrading your latest computer is really going to be about the plugin manufacturers. The other thing is, so my Waves plugins, I've made a lot of videos in the past about paying for update fees, and the only ones I've uh, updated so far is my CLA uh, 76 compressor. I just love that compressor. This, <laughs> the CLA Echo Sphere. I got this for free and they kind of, it was 12 bucks and I've always wanted to try it. So I did it. The one that I really need to get is the platinum bundle, which is 120 bucks. And I've kind of debated about whether I'm going to do the platinum bundle or I'm going to just pay for the R base and maybe add some of the other plugins. I like their multiband compressors. There's a couple of different plugins that I really enjoy using from Waves, but I don't really want to pay the update fee. So it's do I just get the R base and live without the other ones and kind of make up with all the other plugins I have? Or do I do the platinum bundle so I can get the multiband compressors, the limiters, all the Renaissance bundle with their compressors and all that jazz? I'm uh, <laughs> I'm still making decisions on that front. Then also you can see on my screen here, there's the API collection. There's all these bundles I've had that I bought, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago a lot of them and some of them are new. I don't think I'm going to update any of this stuff. I'm just letting it go because... 
I'm sick of opening this plugin folder and having bazillions upon there's just there's already way too many plugins in here and so I want to work quickly I want to be able to get to the things that I want without having to go through a ton of different plugins I'm at the point where I'm just gonna let stuff go so the point of this video though is it safe to get an M1 Mac uh, especially if you're a Pro Tools user I would say yes but you have gotta go through these Sweetwater lists for Ableton's fully supported logic is already I mean that worked I think from day one just because it's a logic program but you really got to check your plugins and go through this with Big Sur if all you can do is upgrade to Big Sur you need to go through this list and have the plugins you can't live without I'm still kind of discovering stuff but for the most part I've got everything I need and it's just been this computer the Mac studio just the base model two thousand dollars it's a lot for a computer but it is amazing and it's an awesome computer once you check those lists I wouldn't hesitate to upgrade to those computers just make sure all your plugins are gonna work so that's gonna do it for today I did just create an Instagram which I'm an old guy uh, <laughs> I've never had an Instagram before if you want to follow me there or link up there I'm gonna be on Instagram if you got any value out of this video please hit the like button and I'll catch you on the next one